Hi guys, this is Kia Collins with Biblical End Time Warnings. And oh my goodness, it is 3.49 a.m. I woke up out of my terrible nightmare of a dream that I've had. And something was revealed to me. And I knew that I had to come down here and post this video warning the other Christians warning my brothers and sisters in Christ warning the body of Christ we are under extreme spiritual warfare we are under extreme spiritual warfare now before I went to bed tonight I prayed now ever since yesterday I've been talking to the Lord I woke up yesterday morning and I had a wonderful encounter with Jesus. I mean, it was so heartfelt and I heard him talking to me. It lasted a, a couple of hours maybe and I poured my heart out to the Lord and he told me some things that I needed to know from a situation that just happened in my life with someone who I thought was my friend we're no longer friends anymore but anyway I just had this encounter with the Lord yesterday and so being positive that I am hearing from the Lord and that he is guiding me in and I know this through my faith alone also through obedience to him and also through confirmations I was um, led to pray a certain prayer before bed so before I went to sleep tonight, you know, well, you know, tonight before 12 o'clock came, it was yesterday, so now is another day. But I was led to pray a certain prayer, and so I prayed this prayer asking the Lord to remove the veil that is over my eyes because for the past few days, my dreams have been blocked. Now, the Lord started giving me these dreams, showing me things, and I've been coming here on YouTube and posting the dreams. I've been shown, you know, war coming, how the war would, you know, happen and stuff like that, in-depth details that the Lord is showing me things to come. And through my obedience, but coming on YouTube, posting them, then all of a sudden the dream stopped. So I immediately recognized it, but, you know, I just kept going on about my days. And so... The next thing you know, these ungodly dreams started creeping in. So now I'm like, okay, now it's time to, you know, do something about this. Because not only is my godly dreams being hindered, but now they're being replaced with these familiar spirit type of dreams. Where I see people in dreams that I know. And it's just unnecessary, nothing, fruitless dreams, nothing that's really going on, nothing godly. So I was led to pray the prayer and I said, Lord Jesus, I said, um, just asking for strength, pray for, um, Bobby Christina, you know, um, and asking the Lord, you know, praying for people, praying for my brothers and sisters in Christ, my regular prayers. And then I was told, you know, take the veil off your eyes. I said, in the name of Jesus, I take the spiritual veil off my eyes and I pull the veil off. So I go to sleep. And as I'm laying down and I'm sleeping, I'm having this terrible, terrible nightmare of me and my family being slaughtered. Don't worry about that. I already canceled that in the name of Jesus. I already canceled, nullified, and voided out that dream. But I want to tell you guys what happened when I canceled out the dream. So I'm having this dream. This dream is long. I mean, the whole night I'm dreaming this dream. And it's my family being captured by this couple which is um, looking to slaughter us, possibly rape us, do all these terrible things to us. And I actually get away in a dream and I go to a neighbor's house and I try to call for help. But the, this couple, this evil couple had access to the neighbor's house as well. So they was like coming through these secret compartments into the in my neighbor's house and you know, and trying to find me there. And they had my four year old and it was just, it was just terrible. So I wake up from the dream, but I wake up from the dream and something is like, don't open your eyes yet. Just, you know, keep your eyes closed, but look. 
So I'm totally woke. I'm woke up. I could just rise up out of bed at any moment, but I don't. I lay there and my eyes are still closed. And I'm looking into my mind's eye. You know when you close your eyes, but you can still see, but it's just darkness. And I see this octopus or this squid-like thing. It's all black. It has like thousands of tentacles. I'm not sure if I seen one big eyeball, you know, in the middle of this octopus or, you know, I'm not sure, but... I see this creature, this demonic octopus creature. And so I'm looking at it. And um, so I immediately go into warfare. I said, I cancel, I nullify, and I void out that name. And, and I, void, I cancel, I nullify, and I void out this dream in the name of Jesus. I cancel this dream. I rebuke this dream in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuked thee. So this octopus started having a fit. He started kicking and screaming and like pounding his tentacles on, the, I guess, the floor in my mind's eye like a little child would have a tantrum. It started having a tantrum because I rebuked the dream because I canceled it. I nullified and I voided it. It had a, it had a fit. So, you know, fear tried to start creeping in. So instantly I heard the Lord's word in my mind and said, um, fear is not of me. You have... Um, a mind of you you have um, power love and a sound mind so I said that the fear instantly went away so I said in the name of Jesus I bind you up in Jesus name so the octopus started rolling like like he was being rolled up so it's fighting it is fighting to get away it is really fighting now this is why I'm totally woke it's a vision at this point is a vision is no longer a dream because I'm woke I just haven't opened my eyes up I'm just laying there with my eyes closed fully woke so I say it again I said I bind you in Jesus name so this thing is being rolled around so I said um Lord send the angels I send angels to um to um to take you away so he started being dragged away but it was kicking and screaming and trying to come back for dear life so i said i take the sword of the spirit and i cut off all your tentacles in jesus name so the tentacles seem like they just started going berserk i mean this thing is and it is and it is hideous it's all black it has thousands of tentacles it's an octopus or it's a squid like creature it is scary but I was not afraid. Like this thing, this was not your regular octopus. Like it was, it looks demonic, okay? And this thing was in my mind. That was the scary part. I wasn't scared of the actual cr creature itself. The scary part is that this demon was in my mind or had access to my mind somehow. I don't know if he was operating from the outside or if he was in the inside, but when I had this encounter with the Lord yesterday, the Lord spoke to me and he said, no, a, a couple of days ago, the Lord spoke to me and he said, bind up schizophrenia and bind up psychosomatic. No, he said, bind up psychosomatic and bind up psychotherapy. So I had no idea what the Lord was talking about, but I obeyed and I did it. I said, I, 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 I don't even know what this is, but I did it. So a few days later, I was just led to go and do some research on schizophrenia and schizophrenia was linked to psychosomatic, you know, diseases and, 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 and things with the mind. And as a child, I always had a problem with daydreaming, you know, in mind problems. Like I was always a dreamer ever since a kid. I always had dreams like dreams. It's just come natural to me. And when I was young, my mom put me on Ritalin because of the daydreaming. And I really think that damaged my mind. And it might have caused, you know, the enemy to come in in my mind. And that's probably why I always had these dreams. No matter what, when my head hit the pillow, you can rest assured that I'll have some type of dream. And when I came into, you know, um, Christ, that's when I started to learn that I even had to rebuke and, 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 you know, and bind up those dreams. So these dreams been shaping my life all these years. No wonder I didn't get saved till I was 30. You know, the enemy had a stronghold over my mind. And also, I'm going to seek deliverance on it. 
You know, I've been in deliverance for a year now and I've been delivered of so many things. It is really real, people. Don't let nobody tell you that a Christian can't have a demon because they can, okay? That's why we ought to keep clean, keep asking for forgiveness and repenting so that the enemy cannot creep in because he can. He cannot take us fully over because the Holy Spirit is in us, but he can have some effects on different parts of your life, like the mind, your nervous system, and, um, no, not your nervous system, but your mind. And once he can get to your mind, it can cause you to think a certain way, and that can cause you to fall a sin, and then you got to constantly repent. But, you know, I'm over that part you know, in my walk with Christ. But I seen this octopus spirit. I think last year the Lord revealed it to me when I was in prayer with Minister Paul over the Leviathan spirit. And the octopus was revealed to me. But I I didn't know how to engage in spiritual warfare. I was still a babe in Christ. I'm I still am, but you know, I'm advancing in my walk with Christ. So, you know, I'm starting to get this kind of down packed a little bit. So I'm, I bound up this spirit, took my sword, cut his tentacles, um, angels dragging him away. This thing was fighting back hard. And I'm just looking at the whole thing. I'm just watching. And I'm like, Lord, you was right. You was right. It, it was really you speaking to me. Guys, the Lord is talking to us. It's not even hard to hear them. All you got to do is just listen. Just wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I'm listening. And when you hear those words come into your heart, because you'll hear it in your mind, but it'll be in your heart too, and you won't be thinking it. That's him speaking. He been telling me this days ago, and by me being obedient, taking it day by day, step by step, you know, praying and doing what the Lord told me to do, it came to this point. Now... Now, even though I, I said that um, I rebuke you and I cast you out into outer darkness in the name of Jesus, I want to make sure that this thing is really gone because now I recognize the um, weapons that he was forming against me. See, when the Lord gives me a dream or shows me something, I, I recognize those. Now, when this thing is giving me a dream, is nothing but lies and fruitless dreams. So now I can discern between the two. This thing got to go. I just want to warn everybody. My time is almost up. It's four o'clock in the morning. The spiritual warfare is heavy right now. If you feel that it's something not right or going on in any part of your life, ask the Lord to show you it and he will. Everything is being kicked up, you guys. It is not a game. Pray. Pray be forbid. Pray whenever the Holy Spirit leads you. Okay? It is really real. I couldn't believe my eyes. Although this is not the first vision that I've had. The Lord let me see this octopus being defeated by him. He let me see it. And it actually happened. He was bound up. He got rolled up. When I rebuked him, he got mad. He had to leave. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more research. Whatever I find, I'll put it in the description box. You can click on the links and read on this spirit. I found something on this spirit. The spirit is real. The spirit of octopus, mind control, voltage spirit. That's the name of them. So if you're having nightmares and bad dreams, if your godly dreams and visions are being suppressed and replaced with fruitless dreams, sexual dreams, dreams that don't make no sense, you might want to pull a veil off of your eyes in the name of Jesus and ask the Lord to reveal to you what is being placed there by Satan to hinder what God is trying to give you. See, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And I told that octopus demon, I said, for it is written, and I started speaking, you know, I started hitting them with the with the word. Okay, guys, I love you guys. This is Kia Collins with Biblical End Time Warnings. If I find anything else, I'll be sure to update you on that. Okay, bye-bye.